Hi, in this video we will discuss about the meta tags. Meta tag is somewhat out of league from all those tags which we have covered so far. So basically why this meta tag is used. Meta basically stands for metadata. Metadata means the data about data or the information about the information. For example, our web page will give you some sort of information but the information about that page will be given by the metadata. For example, if I am creating a website like tutorials point where I want to put some of the information like why I am creating this particular page using what all keywords you can search this particular page from any search engine like Google. So those things will be put in the head section inside the meta tag. So let's you specify the metadata that I said the information about the information. Meta elements can be used to include name value pairs. Name value pairs means the name of a meta tag like keywords and the value will be a list of all the keywords. Similarly, if you want to put a description, so name will be description and value will be the actual description of that particular page. So does not have a closing tag because it carries all the information in the attribute. So basically this name and value is nothing but the attribute. So meta tag name is the attribute then its value and then value is again an attribute then its value. I'll show you in the practical don't get confused now. So that means the thing is it doesn't have a closing tag because I don't want to write anything between the opening and closing tag of metadata. One or more meta tags can be included as I just said like we can put different names like first for the keyword second for the uh, maybe the description and so on. So we can have more than one metadata. Doesn't impact the physical appearance of the document. Initially I told you like whatever I will see will see in the output of the browser that will be in the body part but I am going to put this uh, meta tag inside the head. Other thing is it is containing the metadata not any formatting thing. So it will not impact the output up to a bit. So let's see what all tags are means what all attributes are available including this meta tag and how to write the meta tag in the head section of HTML. So let's start the practical now. So now here in the meta tag which I already told you like we will be using this particular tag inside the head section. So let's come here in the head and I'll start putting the meta tag inside it. So the first tag which I have used as I said we can use multiple meta tag. So the first meta tag which I have implemented here is for the keywords. The keywords is used for the search engine optimization so that if you want your page to be searched by using any particular keyword which a client will use you can add all the possible keywords out here in this particular content all right since the name of this meta tag is keywords so here we will put all those words which can be used for searching a particular page or a content similarly if you want to give any description about your web page you can use another meta tag where you will use the description in the name and then after you can use the content make sure that all these things will not make any change in the output of your web page because I am using it for the internal purpose for giving some information about the web page. So the output of the web page will be as it was. So here in the body I have just used the h2 tag. So in the body you will only see this heading but no change will be shown when I will put these meta tags. Similarly Let's add another meta tag here in this context. So now I have used the name revised. That means I am putting the information like when this particular page was revised last. So here in the content you can see the author means who made the changes that's the tutorials point and the date on which the last revision of this particular page took place. And similarly if you want to put the name like who particular member who author write the content of this particular page 
then you can use the author name in the meta tag and can put some more details about it. So as you can see, this meta tag is just being used so far for putting the different information about the page. That's why we call it metadata, all right? The meta tag because it is containing the information about the web page. Now let's add another meta tag which will give me a different kind of feature. Here, I'm not using the name keyword, here, name attribute here, rather I'm using the HTTP equivalent, all right, means the HTTP hyphen equiv attribute. So here, the name of this is refresh and content is five. That means if you want your page to be refreshed after a certain amount of seconds, then you can use this refresh HTTP equivalent within your meta tag. So as I mentioned five, so right after five seconds, it will be refreshed, means after every five seconds, your page will be refreshed. So let's see how the, uh, means if there is any change in the output or not for now. So here, let me refresh the page. All right, so we'll have to see after five seconds. All right, I saw something refreshing, just focus right here. After every five seconds, you will see a blink out there that is nothing, but it is actually refreshing the page after the certain amount of seconds. All right. Apart from that, if you want to redirect your page after every five seconds, or maybe after five seconds, like suppose there is a banner page which I have created for my website. So before going to actual website, I want to show that particular banner for maybe five to 10 seconds. And then automatically, if he's, the user is not clicking on any of the banner, I will redirect him to the actual website. So if I want to do something like that, I can just add one more attribute here. That is the URL. All right. So right here after the content, five, then semicolon URL. So after five seconds, when the refresh will take place, it will actually be redirected to the another web page that is the home page of tutorials point for me. So let's come to the browser and refresh it. So let me refresh this. And maybe after five seconds, it will take me to the tutorials point. So as we expected, it did the thing in the same manner. And finally, if you want to put the MIME type, which is used in your web page along with the encoding, you can use the again HTTP equivalent tag where the content type is text slash HTML and care set which we are using is Unicode transformation format 8 bits. All right, that is UTF-8 encoding is there in this particular page. So these are all the things which can be done by meta tag in your HTML document.